the question is what do we want from the future? What quality of life do we want for ourselves and for future generations? How do we provide energy, keep a clean environment, allow people all over the world to come up the scale of prosperity and health, provide them with food, clothing, shelter, and clean water? It is the system that keeps us you know, digging bigger holes and putting more trash in them and putting it into the ocean. And if we think about what we actually do and the amount of products you use every day and the things you throw away, it's quite extraordinary. making a transition to a more sustainable planet is the ultimate challenge for all of us today. We want to tackle really important societal problems and of course that does require pulling together basic science, engineering and users. A system is not just a collection of random things. It is an interconnected set of elements that is coherently organized in a way that achieves some set of components interconnected in such a way that their relationship is greater than the sum of the parts. So systems thinking is the process of understanding how component parts relate to each other within the whole. Now in nature, systems thinking examples include ecosystems in which various elements such as air and water, plants, animals interact to achieve equilibrium with the environment. Systems are not just physical. They can also be comprised of beliefs and political ideologies or modes of social organization such as monetary structures. Systems within systems, both physical and intellectual, all interacting with each other all at the same time.
London, 1858. Death and disease. The modern chemist, the modern biologist, the modern scientist believes that man is steadily controlling nature. The balance of nature is built of a series of interrelationships. You can't just step in with some brute force and change one thing without changing a good many others. Always there, clean, safe, and abundant. Water, the essence of life. Now remember, we live next door to the ocean, but we also live on the edge of a desert. Los Angeles is a desert community. The Aral Sea was once the fourth largest inland body of water in the world. It is mankind and his activities which are changing the environment of our planet in damaging and dangerous ways. Certainly as a world be better off if we had, say, half as many people. Perhaps the most incredible story of the last million years is the rise of modern human culture. Satellites scanning the Earth reveal the planet in unprecedented new detail. Modern science has been a voyage into the unknown with a lesson in humility waiting at every stop. Today, our relationship with the planet is a different one. We are now a geological force to rival the Earth's natural forces. The ultimate test will be how well we use that power.